Good afternoon, people. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, very good afternoon. How are you all? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, okay, so last class to shoot the yogi time, sir. Can we start now? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so <clears throat> we are to start a GPS today, is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. All right. So basically, GPS, when we say global positioning system, there is also a term called GNSS, which you might have heard. GNSS is a generic name for any position system, uh, position fixing system, which uses satellite to fix position on the surface of the earth or near the surface of the earth. <clears throat> so GNSS is the generic name. Now, what is this GPS then? GPS is also a GNSS, but it is specific to USA. GPS is a position fixing system or GNSS owned and operated by USA. <clears throat> Everything about the GPS system is owned and operated by USA. Earlier, it started off as a military exercise. The GPS system was in practice since 70s, late 70s, mid 70s to late 70s. GPS had already started, but it was used by only the military services, the defense services of USA. But 90s may aake unhone is system ko position fixing system ko open kar diya for everybody, for civilians also. Then we started using this GPS for navigation also. So now almost 25, 30 years, we are using this GPS for navigation. Mobile phones now also it is having. There is host of services where this GPS positioning is used. So this is the US system. The word that we use is GPS, but actually the full name of the system is Navstar GPS, N-A-V-S-T-A-R. Navstar is a short form for navigation, satellite, timing, and ranging. Remember, Navstar means navigation, satellite, timing, and ranging. <clears throat> In this, timing and ranging is the core of position fixing. Timing and ranging is something which is the core of position fixing. Now, what does it mean? We will see on the slide how position is fixed. We'll understand the theory of fixing the position on the surface of the earth using satellites. But before that, before we go into that, we can try to learn the basic theory on the surface of the earth itself, not using satellite, but sat, uh, stations on the land. So let me go to the slides. From there only we'll take it on. We'll go slide by slide, and we will understand the principle of timing and ranging. Timing and ranging to baad mein First, position fixing. How satellites are used to fix the position on the surface of Earth. Later on, we will see what are the components of the system, what we call the segments of GPS. <clears throat> segments may definitely, there has to be some satellite, so some part is in the sky, what we call the space segment. There will be some few stations on the ground which are able to communicate with the satellites to control the satellites, to transmit data to them so that they can transmit it back for users like us. So there is a control segment or ground segment, <clears throat> which is 
responsible for managing all the space satellites. Then finally, you and I, the user segment, people who have the GPS receiver. Remember that our system is only a receiver. It only receives signal and does the calculation and shows you the results, which is basically position, force over ground, and speed over ground. Three basic outputs are there from the GPS, the lat long position, the speed over ground, and also the speed, sorry, force over ground, which direction the ship is going. So allow me to share the screen. Let me open the file first. All right, so you got my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, so picture that you are seeing, you can see that there is this earth. And around the earth, there are these satellites moving in different kind of orbits. Giving global coverage to this, that is by the name GPS, Global Positioning System. Of course, these satellites are here, which is sent up using the rocket and it is placed in the sky. These satellites are revolving around the earth at a given speed, at a given height, taking certain time to complete one revolution of the earth. And meanwhile, they are constantly transmitting signals towards the earth, which we receive, which our GPS receiver is receiving and making use of that signal to fix position. Of course, there has to be certain elements of information in the signal. Like for example, if you are receiving FM radio, Vivid Bharti on 100.1 megahertz. So that is the frequency you are tuning, but information also you are receiving Remember that 100.1 megahertz is not the information. It is the carrier frequency. That brings the information. Carrier means something that is bringing something. So the songs, the news, the commentary is the information, basically the audio. Audio is the information, but it is carried to us by radio waves, what we call MF, HF, VHF, etc., etc. So here also, it's going to be the same thing. There will be a carrier frequency, rather two carrier frequencies, two carrier frequencies, and on both of them, certain information is carried. We'll talk more about it, but one frequency is used by us, the civilians, while both of the frequencies are used by the defense services, dual frequency. So there is a difference between the receiver that we use and the military services or defense services use. They have the capability to receive two signals, and use both the signals to get more accurate position. While we get a standard kind of position, which is okay for us, 
not so precise but precise enough for our work navigation hum kar sakte hain gaadi mein navigate karte hue ek road se dusre road se dusre road se we can reach our destination but it is not so accurate all right so as we said the full name is navstar gps navigation satellite timing and ranging global positioning system and it is a type of or it is just one of the gnss of course there are other countries also who have got their gnss like glonass g l o n a s s glonass is owned and operated by russia there is galileo owned and operated by european union then there is bido b e d o e u which is chinese we have i r n s s indian system of position fixing also the pet name for that is navik n a v i k so there are multiple systems multiple gnss operating in the world of course just for information we don't have a global system we have a regional system that is why i r n s s indian regional navigation satellite system so right now we are not global we are regional so <clears throat> these satellites are located up there in the sky at a height of some 20200 kilometers 20200 kilometers from the surface of the earth these satellites are operating that means when a gps is, uh, satellite is overhead it is away from you by a distance of 20200 kilometers and they are transmitting some signals what signal are they transmitting there are two prerequisites for position fixing of course there has to be input and there will be output for position fixing the input is location of station transmitting station and range of the station these are the two inputs required then there is some calculation and then there is output so two basic information is required for position fixing location of at least three transmitting stations and the range of those stations from me i don't know where i am but i know they are located at a, such a distance there are two inputs required the location of three transmitting stations or maybe four we will see why three why four later on but minimum three sat, uh, stations required or four stations required apart from that i need to know the range of all these stations yes station a mere se kitni dur station b wo kitni dur hai station 3 ye itni dur hai agar teeno ke coordinates pata ho mujhko x y z teeno ka range pata ho then using some mathematics we can calculate our own position
the method to cal the mathematics that we are talking about is basically trilateration remember we required three station three is tri so trilateration is the mathematical exercise doing which we can get an output what kind of output again the position of my own receiver and for this trial iteration since it is mathematics there has to be input then only there will be output so i want you to repeat yourself five times don't have to speak it on uh, microphone or maybe you can do that also but everybody i want you to repeat the inputs required for position calculation what are the inputs the two things which are required yes i want you to remember this that is why i'm asking to repeat five times for yourself what are the two basic information required kyunki ye cheez bar bar use hogi yahan se wahan tak pure calculation pure chapter mein these two concepts of input will be required at any place all the places so repeat it i'm giving you 30 seconds somebody saying something kisi ka microphone on hai somebody trying to say something is everyone happy yes sir yes sir okay, okay. second yes sir okay. tell me what are the inputs required sir the positions of uh, minimum three re reference point matlab three satellites jo hai unki positions yes. ah. aur hamare receiver se unki range kitni hai wo required hai sir very good tino ki you know very good so there will be range 1 re <coughs> sorry range 1 range 2 range 3 for all the three stations station 1 station 2 station 3 aur iske baad hum mathematics use kar sakte hain using that we can find out our own position now agar mujhko kisi dusre station ka position pata karna hai to main kaise pata karunga how will i know the position of the satellite uh, sorry satellite or transmitting station of course x y z correct coordinates x y z means latitude longitude and altitude is that right yes sir yes sir yes sir so teen ka latitude longitude and altitude will be available teen ya char एक्चुअली जब सैटेलाइट की बात करेंगे जिसमें ऑल्टीट्यूड भी होगा तो चार सैटेलाइट चाहिए अगर सरफेस पे है ट्रांसमिटिंग स्टेशन भी और मैं भी तो तीन चाहिए दैट मीन्स द पोजिशन दैट वी आर फिक्सिंग इफ इट इज ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ स्टेशन आर हेयर एंड दे आर ट्रांसमिटिंग सिग्नल टू मी यहां पर सर्किल के ऊपर मैं हूं तो इसके लिए तीन स्टेशन काफी बट इफ इट इज सैटेलाइट वन टू थ्री फोर आई नीड फोर सैटेलाइट टू गेट माई पोजिशन फोर ट्रांसमिटिंग स्टेशन इफ इट इज सैटेलाइट दैट मीन्स देर इज एक्स देर इज वाई एंड देर इज जेड इन फैक्ट इवन सैटेलाइट से भी मैं तीन से काम कर सकता हूं 
That means I may use only three satellites, but that requires that I am on the surface of the earth. If my GPS receiver is here, I can use three satellites. But if my position is above the surface where I have got a height also, that means my position will be having X, Y, and Z. Latitude, longitude, and altitude. Agar ye hoga, then I require four satellite also. So that's basic requirement. So with this inputs, let us see how the position can be fixed using trilateration. The blue dot that you are seeing on screen is a transmitting station. Let us call it station one. Remember that this station is transmitting some radio signals, carrier frequency. On that, there are information that it is transmitting. The station is transmitting carrier frequency and on that carrier frequency, there is information. By the way, gentlemen, how do we superimpose the information on carrier frequency? One word answer how to put information onto carrier frequency, any idea? Amplification. No, amplification is not that. Amplification is small signal turned into big signal. That's amplification. Here we are talking about that there is a carrier frequency and there are audio signals maybe. We are going to mix it together. Kaise mix karte hai? That is called. Yes, very good. Modulation. Modulation. So by modulation, when we say FM, what is that? FM to aap subah shaam use karte rate hai word. What is FM? Frequency modulation. Frequency modulation. So, um, one type of modulation, one method of modulation in which we are, which we are calling frequency modulation. Then there is something called EM. EM signals I am receiving. What is that? Amplitude modulation. Similarly, there are other methods of modulation. Write down methods of or types of modulation may. Frequency modulation, amplitude modulation, phase modulation, pulse modulation, and then there are various other kind of variations of these uh, the modulations. Slight bit different here, slight bit basically the same thing, but different approach taken to do the same. The GPS uses phase modulation. Not FM, not AM, but PM. PM for phase modulation. Now let us understand what this station is doing. It is transmitting that carrier frequency. And in that carrier frequency, there are information, which the receiver don't know where it is. It may be here, it may be here, it may be here. Kahi pe bhi ho sakta hai, screen pe. But the receiver is able to receive the signal. Is signal may station apna location bata hai, apni latitude, longitude bata hai. So receiver ko transmitting station ka location pata chal gaya ya nahi? Chal gaya ya nahi? Yes, sir. Kaise pata chal gaya? Sir, because the frequency of information is carrying the position of the position. Exactly. Very good. Because the signal that it is transmitting is carrying information regarding its location. He is telling himself that, I will tell you, I am transmitting, I am talking, I am telling you, I am telling you that I am in Indrapuram, in Ahinsakhan, in 
फला कॉलने में फला प्लॉट नंबर पे फला फ्लोर पे बैठा हूं तो आपको पता चल गया ना सिमिलरली द स्टेशन इज ट्रांसमिटिंग इट्स लोकेशन वेयर आई एम लोकेटेड इट इज ऑल्सो ट्रांसमिटिंग अनदर काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन जिससे रिसीवर इसका रेंज पता करता है कि यहां से यहां का डिस्टेंस कितना है सो विद दिस टू इंफॉर्मेशन रिमेंबर द स्टेशन इज नॉट ट्रांसमिटिंग रेंज इट इज ट्रांसमिटिंग सम सिग्नल्स यूजिंग विच द रिसीवर इज एबल टू कैलकुलेट द रेंज क्योंकि स्टेशन कैन नॉट ट्रांसमिट रेंज स्टेशन यहां पे है एक रिसीवर यहां तो इसका रेंज कुछ होगा एक रेंज इसका एक इसका एक इसका लाखों लोग हैं जो सिग्नल रिसीव कर रहे हैं तो वो किसका रेंज भेजेगा द थिंग इज एवरी रिसीवर विल कैलकुलेट द रेंज फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर दिस रिसीवर विल कैलकुलेट रेंज फ्रॉम हेयर दिस रिसीवर विल कैलकुलेट रेंज फ्रॉम हेयर All the receivers are calculating the range using the information, the signals. So enough of this. Now this station is transmitting some signals. You are located on the white board anywhere. You don't know where. but you can receive the signal receiving that signal you find out that range is r1 so you know the location of station 1 and you also know that you are located at a distance of r1 from that station now what is your possible location if you are at a distance of r1 from station 1 what is your possible location पॉसिबल लोकेशन नियर टू आर वन हो गया और अगर ऐसे तीन स्टेशन चार स्टेशन होंगे तो इनका इंटरसेक्शन कहीं पे होगा वही मेरी पोजीशन होगी अभी हम वहां तक नहीं पहुंचे मेरा क्वेश्चन सिर्फ इतना था सॉरी व्हाट इज द पॉसिबल लोकेशन ऑफ योर रिसीवर इफ यू आर लोकेटेड एट ए डिस्टेंस आर फ्रॉम स्टेशन वन think bahut sari come again come again sir agar hum r1 ko ek radius ki tarah le to usse jitna bhi circle banega usme meri position ho sakti hai that's exactly what i wanted to hear so your position is infinite possibility you can be located anywhere on this circle position sir जो पहले कुछ पता नहीं था अब पता तो चल गया बट दैट इज इनफाइनाइट पॉसिबिलिटी यू कैन बी एनी वेयर ऑन दिस पोजिशन सर्किल नाउ फॉरगेट अबाउट दिस एंड थिंक यू आर ऑल्सो रिसीविंग स्टेशन आई मीन सिग्नल्स फ्रॉम अनदर स्टेशन व्हिच वी आर कॉलिंग स्टेशन टू at the same very time the station 2 also is transmitting signals station 2 also giving its position and also transmitting some signal by which you are calculating the range of that station where are the, where is that how far is that station from you so that makes another possibility that you must be located on a position circle with the radius of r2 on a circle so another possibility is this <clears throat> now at the same very time you are r1 from station 1 r2 from station 2 now what are the possible situations from where both the conditions are satisfied that you should be r1 from station 1 r2 from station 2 what are the possible locations from there these two conditions are satisfied 
सर जो दो इंटरसेक्शन है उसमें से कोई एक वेरी गुड सो यू कैन बी लोकेटेड आइदर हेयर और हेयर सो जो इनफाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ पोजिशन थे सिर्फ एक स्टेशन से दो स्टेशन से वो बन गए दो पॉसिबल लोकेशन वॉट वी आर सींग ऑन द इन द सर्कल तो बहुत सारी एम्बिगिटी तो खत्म हो गई लेकिन अभी भी एम्बिगिटी है तो वॉट यू डू यू स्टार्ट रिसीविंग सिग्नल फ्रॉम द थर्ड स्टेशन लेटस कॉल इट स्टेशन थ्री this station also transmitting signals it also transmitting its position and it is transmitting some signals by which your receiver is able to calculate the range of station 3 incidentally that range is r3 so at one given point the three conditions must be satisfied ek hi saath teeno condition fulfill hone chahiye r1 from station 1 r2 from station 2 r3 from station 3 and there will be again position circles so now where do you see one point from where these three conditions are satisfied only one possible possible location the intersection point of three position circles when we have the lat long of these stations that means x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 and x3 y3 and z3 when we have this known quantities i can calculate my x y and z how we can calculate using trigonometric functions what we call this process what we have seen is called trilateration it is basically a mathematical exercise nothing else to jab hum receiver on karenge so there are satellites in the sky they are transmitting carrier frequency on that carrier frequency there will be signals one signal will be pertaining to their location other signal will be regarding their some kind of signals by which i can calculate the range of satellite so this is what we know what is the principle of fixing position any questions here any questions excuse me sir koi question nahi sir jo jo teen transmitting station hai unki aapas mein kya distance hai usse hame nahi matlab hai koi matlab nahi agar ek station maan lijiye teesra station yahan pe hota uska position circle aise hota to usse kya farak pad gaya ये इसकी जगह यहां होता इसका पोजीशन सर्किल ऐसे होता तो क्या फर्क पड़ गया इट डजेंट मैटर देयर दे आर लोकेटेड आई एम एट द सेंटर आई शुड नो हाउ फार इट इज फ्रॉम मी मान लीजिए कि एक स्टेशन यहां था उसका पोजीशन सर्किल ऐसे हुआ एक स्टेशन यहां था जिसका पोजीशन सर्किल ऐसे हुआ एक स्टेशन यहां था उसका पोजिशन सर्किल ऐसे हुआ तो हो गया ना हमारा पोजिशन फिर भी निकल गया मान लीजिए कि ये स्टेशन यहां नहीं था स्टेशन यहां नहीं था मान लीजिए कि स्टेशन यहां पे था 
तो उसका पोजीशन सर्किल ऐसे बनता तो फिर से वही पॉइंट होता रेंज 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 गुड नफ यस यस सर ओके सो व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन देयर इज सैटेलाइट दीज स्टेशन वर लोकेटेड ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ नाउ लेट योर इमेजिनेशन रन थिंक दैट देयर इज दिस सैटेलाइट इन द स्काई and you are located from this satellite one at a range of r1 then what is the possible location for you like you said on the surface of the earth it gave you a position circle if it was up there in the sky what would be the position possible positions from that satellite the range is r1 yes anyone uh excuse me sir ha bolie uh sir jaise abhi humne earth mein dekha ki jo hamara jo r1 jo jo na distance tha usse jo ek circle banega same sir is time mein bhi wahi hoga circle banega maan lijiye aap sab sab the earth mein hai yahan pe satellite hai ठीक है आप अगर रेंज आर वन है तो आर वन यहां भी हो सकता है यहां भी हो सकता है यहां भी हो सकता है इधर भी हो सकता है आपकी तरफ भी हो सकता है स्क्रीन के भीतर भी हो सकता है पीछे भी हो सकता है थ्री डायमेंशन हो गया ना यस सर तो पॉसिबल लोकेशंस क्या होंगे थिंक ऑफ अ फुटबॉल there sir think of a football and inside that football there is a center of the football correct yes sir from that center the surface of the football is equidistant or not agar think that what you are having is a football और उसके सेंटर से ये सरफेस सब जगह इस तरफ इस तरफ इस तरफ ये सर्किल नहीं है आप समझो कि ये बॉल है बॉल में आपकी तरफ भी होगा पीछे की तरफ भी होगा सो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ सरफेस इज बीइंग मेड बाय दैट रेडियस what kind of surface is being made <coughs> by yes, sir kya bole sphere ha ah, sphere that is why i opened it supposing if you have this at the center inside us center se idhar bhi idhar bhi idhar bhi idhar bhi idhar bhi idhar bhi there is a sphere na क्योंकि इसके सेंटर में जो सेंटर पॉइंट है इसका उससे सब तरफ वही डिस्टेंस है सो इन दिस केस इन केस ऑफ सैटेलाइट एक स्टेशन से सर्किल नहीं मिला क्या मिला स्फीयर मिला पोजीशन स्फीयर सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज द सेंटर ऑफ द सैटेलाइट और इसे इधर 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 सब तरफ 
एक पोजिशन सर्किल बना है दूसरे सैटेलाइट से भी वैसे पोजिशन सर्किल होगा अब इन दोनों को दो स्पेयर को आपस में मर्ज करेंगे जैसे सर्किल हुए थे मर्ज हुए थे तो दो इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट मिले अब दो स्पेयर को आपस में घुसाएंगे तो क्या कॉमन पॉइंट क्या बन रहा है क्या बन रहा है कॉमन पॉइंट बिटवीन टू सर्किल्स टू स्पेयर वॉट पॉइंट कॉमन पॉइंट यूर सींग सर्कल विल बी मेड a circle will be made okay to try to understand that in trying to understand that let me give you a, an example what we are saying okay so one circle is this another circle is this let us say this is the circle i mean sorry sphere when you are merging it together what common point you are seeing is this a circle or not yes sir a circle yes sir it's a circle like this सो so, जो वहां एक स्टेशन से सर्किल मिल रहा था यहां दो सैटेलाइट से सर्किल मिल रहा है एक ये स्पेयर और जब दूसरा उसमें घुसता है तो दूसरा स्पेयर दूसरा स्पेयर और ये पहला स्पेयर दोनों का कॉमन पॉइंट क्या मिला सर्किल राइट यस सर किसको समझ में नहीं आ रहा है Are we clear that two spheres, when meeting together, think of this: when they are meeting spheres, they are getting into each other. There is, पहला तो जब touch करेगा तो एक point होगी. जब एक दूसरे में घुसना शुरू होएंगे तो धीरे-धीरे करके circle बड़ा होगा. So there is this common point, which is a circle, right? क्लियर हुआ कि नहीं हो गया सर हो गया हो गया ओके तो ये समझ लो कि सर्किल है अब इस सर्किल में एक तीसरा स्पेयर घुसेगा तो ये और ये पॉइंट ये सर्किल हो गया जब एक तीसरा पॉइंट यहाँ घुसेगा तीसरा स्पेयर घुसेगा देन कॉमन पॉइंट विल बी दिस दिस वन एंड दिस वन राइट यस सर तो तीन स्पेयर मिला के अब दो पॉइंट पर रहे हैं रिमेंबर कि एक सैटेलाइट से स्पेयर बना दो दो स्पेयर से एक सर्किल बना तीन से दो कॉमन पॉइंट निकले एक ये सर्किल और दूसरा उसमें स्पेयर तो एक इधर वाला पॉइंट और एक इधर वाला सर्किल ये है उसमें जब स्पेयर घुसे तो वन पॉइंट हेयर द अदर पॉइंट हेयर तो तीन स्पेयर मिला के दो पॉइंट निकले हमारे तो अब क्या करें एक और चीज एक और सैटेलाइट तो चार सैटेलाइट मिला करके वी गेट वन कॉमन पॉइंट तो हमें चार सैटेलाइट चाहिए अगर थ्री डी पोजिशन है तो थ्री डी पोजिशन मतलब अगर कहीं स्पेस में है हमारा रिसीवर स्पेस में मतलब नॉट ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेलीकॉप्टर इज इन द एयर तो हेलीकॉप्टर से जब जीपीएस निकालेगा तो उसका स्पेयर बनेगा लाइक दिस सो वी रिक्वायर मिनिमम फोर सैटेलाइट्स फॉर पोजीशन इफ इट इज थ्री डायमेंशनल पोजीशन 
दैट मीन्स देर इज लैटीट्यूड लॉन्गिट्यूड एंड ऑल्सो ऑल्टीट्यूड हाइट भी है आर वी क्लियर yes sir okay so this is uh, the theory of fixing the position now the next topic is segments of the gps system humne baat kari ki satellite hai upar mein kahan se kya kaise pahunch gaya upar zameen se hi bheja gaya na bhai so there has to be somebody on the ground who is sending the satellite तो नेचुरल सैटेलाइट तो मून भी है तो क्या मून अपने आप से ट्रांसमिट करता है सिग्नल क्या हमारे लिए नहीं करता लेकिन ये वाले सैटेलाइट करते हैं कैसे करते हैं क्योंकि ग्राउंड पे बैठे लोग हम आप जैसे लोग उसको डेटा देते हैं कि भाई तुम ये ट्रांसमिट करो अपने प्लान के हिसाब से सो देर हैज टू बी ए ग्राउंड कंट्रोल स्टेशन ऑल्सो और ग्राउंड सिस्टम ऑल टूगेदर विच इज एबल टू मॉनिटर ऑल द सैटेलाइट गिव दम डेटा विच इज इन टर्न ट्रांसमिटेड बैक टूवर्ड्स आस दे मस्ट ऑल्सो चेक कि अगर कोई सैटेलाइट खराब हो गया तो क्या करेंगे उसको रिपेयर करना है कि उसको डिस्कार्ड कर देना है छोड़ देना है और दूसरा सैटेलाइट भेजें तो देर विल बी अ कंट्रोल सेगमेंट और ग्राउंड सेगमेंट to manage the space segment we have ground segment and finally like we said you and i which is the user segment the receiver receiver ke naam pe aapne dekha hua hai jahaz mein ek dabba hota hai bahar mein ek antenna lagi hoti hai gps antenna to physical mein ek ye dabba hai aur ek antenna hai लेकिन इस डब्बे के भीतर क्या है तो देर इज ए कंप्यूटर देर इज ए क्लॉक देर इज ए क्लॉक देर इज दिस स्क्रीन फ्यू बटन बटन टू नेविगेट एंड ऑपरेट द सिस्टम स्विच ऑन करना है स्विच ऑफ करना है तो बटन होनी चाहिए तो देर हैज टू बी सम बटन अ डिस्प्ले ऑन विच द रिजल्ट आर shown results are what what results is normally seen on the gps receiver display kya kya cheeze milenge the code speed lat long sir lat long sog cog sir cog very good तो ये तीन चीजें आउटपुट है उसके साथ ऊपर में और नंबर ऑफ सैटेलाइट इट इज स्पीकिंग फ्रॉम बहुत सारे कुछ कुछ छोटे छोटे डिटेल्स और भी आते हैं लेकिन हमारे काम की जो चीज है वो बेसिकली तीन है एक लैटलॉन्ग पोजीशन एक सीओजी और एक एसओजी तो दैट इज यूजर सेगमेंट लेट अस सी द यूजर सेगमेंट आई मीन ऑल द सेगमेंट ऑफ द GPS. <clears throat> okay, ये तो हो गया था All right, read on. I think now it is clear. The segments of the GPS, the three segments that we talked about: space segment, control segment, or ground segment. and user segment
let us see the space segment first but before we go specifically we should understand the whole network gps ka network kaise kaam karta hai jisme sare components involved hain so the three segments as we just saw one segment is all about satellites there are number of satellites not one two abhi specifically dekhenge kitne satellites hain kya kya hain बट ये सैटेलाइट ऊपर आसमान में है और द ग्राउंड सेगमेंट और कंट्रोल सेगमेंट इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ थ्री थिंग्स देर इज अ मास्टर स्टेशन देर आर मॉनिटर स्टेशन एंड देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड ग्राउंड एंटेनर्स so space segment 1 control segment 2 the control segment is having three components master station monitor stations and ground antennas if you have not noticed this is singular word station but monitor stations this is plural there are many of them ground antennas these are also many of them as we have seen and discussed little bit that the satellites are transmitting signal for the receiver so you can see the arrow signal is coming towards the receiver can you see anything going upwards no so what we do we only receive the signal and nothing is transmitted by our gps receiver but there are other arrow heads also as you can see in the green blue and there is orange and there is this red so what is all that doing remember that this is transmitting signals which is containing something about position and some signals by which we can calculate range so all the signals which are transmitted must be given to them so the master control station is responsible for providing that data directly to the satellite or same thing through the ground antennas kyunki master station agar ek hai to physically kahi ek jagah located hoga ye kaise kaam hoga okay let us say the master station is in usa to agar usa mein hai yahan pe kahin pe to ye satellites to dekh lenge wo maan lo itne satellites hain visible sky mein to panch sath to dekh lenge wo lekin there will be other satellites on the other side of the earth to usko kaise dekhenge ye to nahi dikhenge so for that there are ground antennas which will transmit from here to here ground antennas which will transmit from here to here then ground antennas which will transmit from here to here thereby covering the whole of the satellite up in the sky so there is this master control station which is directly uploading data to the satellites and there are ground antennas located around the world through which all satellites can be supplied with the data so see it again 
the green arrow is going direct and master station only provides signal bottom line provide signal to the ground antennas and the ground antennas in turn will transmit to the satellites jab inke paas pahunch gaya to wapas wo user ko transmit karenge but all the satellites must be monitored 24 by 7 by 365 days why because in between agar kuch kharab ho gaya to gps to service down ho jayegi satellite kharab ho gaye so there are multiple ground and sorry monitoring stations around the world us ke jo friendly countries hain un countries mein unhone apna station lagaya ki ji hum yahan se monitor karenge so people have allowed countries have allowed usa to place monitor stations in their countries using which again same way as we said again there are monitoring stations many of them around the world which is covering the whole of the satellite constellation kisi bhi time mein constantly every satellite is being monitored all the time so ek to monitor station wahi mcs ke saath mein hi hoga aur baki sare jo honge idhar udhar bikhre honge throughout the world so the three sorry the three segments one is space segment control segment and then third one user segment did we understand the data flow kon kisko kya transmit karta hai kaise receive karta hai kya receive karta hai kon receive karta hai is it okay how the system is set up are we clear or not clear yes sir yes sir clear clear okay so when it is clear the space segment aur nahi to 2 minute ra gaya 2 minute mein pura hoega nahi so what we should do we should wait uh, uh, keep it for the next class uh agle class mein segments ko shuru karenge Excuse me, sir. Yes, go ahead. Sir, last slide, देख नहीं दी सर. Okay, अभी देख लेते हैं. Sir, diagram बोला सर. Okay, अभी अभी देखते हैं. अभी देखते हैं. ये diagram ये देखना था. Yes, sir. Sir, इसमें ये पूछना था जैसे master station ने sir कुछ जब सेंड करना होता है तो सर इन वो अपने ग्राउंड एंटीनास को कर देता है इन केस वो एरिया कवर नहीं कर पाता तो सर जो मॉनिटर स्टेशन से उनका क्या पर्पस है उनका पर्पस है वो सैटेलाइट से देखो ब्लू कलर का एरो देख रहे हो यस सर तो सैटेलाइट अपना हेल्थ के बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन ये तो हमारे जीपीएस रिसीवर का जो को सिग्नल चाहिए वो है बाकी मॉनिटर स्टेशन और master station they keep on receiving signals from the satellite satellite apni condition ke bare mein radio signals bhejta rehta hai wo kya bhej raha hai wo kya data dusron ko bhej raha hai hum jaise user ko bhej raha hai wo monitor station bhi receive karte rehte hain aur wo check karta hai master control station ki jo transmission ho rahi hai satellite se wo sahi hai ya gadbad hai मतलब मास्टर स्टेशन ये चेक करता रहता है थ्रू द मॉनिटरिंग स्टेशन कि जो सैटेलाइट से सिग्नल्स आ रहे हैं वो ठीक ठाक है या नहीं ऐसा तो नहीं कि कोई सिग्नल बंद हो गया हो अगर कोई देखने वाला नहीं होगा तो मास्टर कंट्रोल स्टेशन को कैसे पता चलेगा कि सैटेलाइट नंबर 18 खराब हो गई अगर कॉन्स्टेंटली 
सारे मॉनिटरिंग स्टेशन रिसीव कर रहे हैं और जितने सैटेलाइट है सबका सिग्नल आ रहा है मतलब ठीक है अगर किसी ने बंद कर दिया तो पता चल जाएगा ओनली बिकॉज मॉनिटरिंग इज हैपनिंग कॉन्स्टेंटली इज इट राइट यस सर तो मॉनिटर स्टेशन सैटेलाइट से सिग्नल रिसीव करते हैं और वैसे हम आगे बात करते हैं इसके बारे में बट मॉनिटर स्टेशन रिसीव करते हैं सिग्नल और ये किसको भेज रहे हैं मास्टर स्टेशन मास्टर स्टेशन एनालाइज करेगा कि सब ठीक ठाक है या नहीं मॉनिटर स्टेशन कुछ करता नहीं बस वहां से लेके आगे बढ़ा देता है मास्टर स्टेशन चेक करता है कि सारे सैटेलाइट के सिग्नल सही है या नहीं सैटेलाइट का हेल्थ सही है या नहीं अपनी जगह पर है ऑर्बिट से हिल गया कहीं दूसरे तरफ ड्रिफ्ट तो नहीं कर गया कहीं और तो नहीं जा रहा तो वो सब सारी चीजें जो होती है दैट इज एनालाइज बाई द मास्टर कंट्रोल स्टेशन अब मान लो कि एक कोई गलत डेटा भेज रहा था उसको ठीक करना है ताकि सैटेलाइट सही डेटा ट्रांसमिट करे तो मास्टर स्टेशन क्या करेगा या तो डायरेक्टली भेजेगा या थ्रू ग्राउंड एंटेना भेजेगा उस सैटेलाइट के लिए उसकी करेक्शन जो करनी है उसको या तो अगर उसके व्यू में होगा मास्टर स्टेशन के तो डायरेक्ट भेज देगा और नहीं तो थ्रू द ग्राउंड एंटेना इज दैट ऑल राइट यस सर क्लियर यस सर और सर ये जो ग्राउंड एंटीना थे ये बस रिपीटर है ये बस उसकी फॉरवर्ड करते हैं आगे बेसिकली यस बेसिकली यस अब तुम लोग इतना बात कर रहे हो तो ये देख लो एक नजर को देख लेते हैं हम ये जो सारा डायग्राम है उसका वो ये है There is this master control station, दो एक स्टैंड बाई और एक एक्टिव स्टार जो बने हुए हैं दो रेड एंड येलो वो मास्टर कंट्रोल स्टेशन है नीचे मॉनिटर स्टेशन दो तरीके के देख रहे हैं डिटेल में बाद में बात करेंगे बट दीज आर लोकेटेड अराउंड द वर्ल्ड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड दे आर स्कैटर्ड मॉनिटर स्टेशन You can see they are in South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, Falkland Island, Bahrain, United Kingdom, Canada, Hawaii. Throughout the world, these monitor stations are located, and they are monitoring all the stations, all the satellites, on a continuous basis. सब लोग अपनी अपनी data master control station को भेजते रहते हैं. सब लोग अपनी डेटा भेजते रहते हैं और उससे मास्टर स्टेशन एनालाइज करता है कि किस सैटेलाइट में गड़बड़ है किस में डेटा ठीक करनी है किसको ठीक करना है किसकी स्पीड बढ़ानी है किसको स्पीड स्लो करनी है बहुत सारी चीजें होती हैं ऑल इज बीइंग डन एट फ्रॉम द मास्टर स्टेशन लेकिन मास्टर स्टेशन को बात करनी है एक सैटेलाइट से जो यहां आसमान में तो कैसे करेगा दे विल ट्रांसमिट इट टू द ग्राउंड एंटेनास ट्राइंगल और ग्राउंड एंटेनास इस सैटेलाइट को भी हो जाए जो यहाँ पे सैटेलाइट हैं उसको कैसे तो ग्राउंड एंटेना और डायरेक्ट ट्रांसमिशन थ्रू द एंटेना ठीक है ठीक पक्की बात ना आना नहीं कुछ बोल रहे तुम लोग ओके पक्की बात है बिल्कुल पक्की बात अच्छा अच्छा हम सब आ गया हम सब आ गया ठीक है तो अगले क्लास में हम लोग देखेंगे अबाउट द सेगमेंट्स एंड देन वी गो लिटिल बिट मोर इनटू इंट्रिक्री इंट्रिकेट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द होल सिस्टम ठीक है अभिजीत थैंक यू लक्ष कृष्णकांत एवरीबडी थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर चलो ओके 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 चेतन चेतन भी है चेतन भी आ गया मोहन खान भी है चलो बाय हैव ए ग्रेट डे ऑल ऑफ यू साइनिंग ऑफ थैंक यू थैंक यू सर चलो बाय बाय